melting the wax. It's all hot wax there. It's huge. Well, first you have to spray some um, cooking like Pam. spray, okay. like Pam, into the molds. As such, I'm not going to overdo it because I've already sprayed in there. Just so the wax can you can pull them out, pull them out easily, easily, so they don't and stick. What you have to do is use the uh, the wick and feed that through the bottom part of the mold. So you Are you going to show us how to do it here. on that one? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And then once you string it through, you just cut a uh, clip off a little piece of a paper clip and mm -hmm. tie your wick there so that it remains in the center and stable mm -hmm. whenever you pour the uh, the wax in. So that's sort of so the So you pour the wax the, in from here. Pour, right. Now what you have to do and what we're doing here is melting a candle. We're going to get a little bit of wax and you have to Seal uh, it. Form it around here and seal, seal it so that okay. when you pour so the liquid drip. wax, it doesn't come out. Oh, right. okay. That's what we didn't do and last here's time. Here's what we're losing right here. There we go. Okay. And so what kind of wax do we have? We have regular paraffin wax, and uh, we have, uh, well, these are, are you going to do these too? This is, these are longer ones. It'd be nice to have. Yeah. The, the only problem with this, the base fell off. Uh, yeah, we could we fix something up there. over a campfire and pop it on there. Um, we, didn't hear that. we can. We should also melt some wax into these glass things because we usually use those and up what there. What we might do is just do some dipping. I was thinking of melting some wax here and just. Okay. What about beeswax? Dip. Can we do? Uh, are we going to be doing beeswax today? We could do beeswax. Maybe we could do those with the hand dipped ones as opposed to the molds. Okay. Camp Liberty. I'm just cleaning the old wax. So here we are putting the wick. Into the mold. I see. Let's see if we can get a better angle for you. Just let me know when that comes through. Okay, so okay. we pull that most of the way through, and again we take our. I use paper clips. Do I have to flip it over? Um. Oh, now what about um, what about all this wax now? Uh, we melt all. We can melt all that together. And uh, how does that work with the different types of waxes? Very primitive candles, right? <laughs> yes, you get a variety <laughs> of senses. Scents. And that one you'll probably have like a cranberry. It's called a uh, diverse candle. Flavor. It's called a diverse candle. Right. So or multicultural tied, candle. Tied the paper clip to the wick. We place it as such over the hole, right. and then we flip the mold over, and then we begin stringing it through the other hole. And then we'll do the same thing with uh, the paper clip. Maybe. So, I think we are pretty close to pouring. Right now I'm just melting some wax over the wick. Oh, that's, that's to, to harden, seal it, right? Yeah, to seal yeah. it so that when we pour the liquid in that it doesn't come straight out. you got to get it more on the... Well, I'm just putting a, a one layer on first, and then I'll go back and hit another one. Because you can see here on this one that they're cooling a bit. Okay. And then we'll hit it again. Candle making 101. <laughs> Hot wax. That's not, yeah, that's not that there's for it. Don't splash yourself. <laughs> okay, so we have the molds ready to go. And our wax has been melting. And I'm left handed, so. There we go. Okay, we just sprayed these, and we're putting these wicks. Let's make enough uh, candles for uh, next year. Okay, watch the beer there. So then it is green. I'll drink it. It's green. Yeah.
cream. Oh, that's cool. a little more. You want to hold this for a sec? What's the scent? I don't know. It smells like skunk. It doesn't skunk, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. If it, if it keeps those darn black flies away, I'm all for it. This is dye. This is just dye. All right, you want to start with those carefully. Don't hit the wick, though, Brandon. Oh, I did forget to do something stupid. Look, I forgot to plug the bottom. You forgot to oh. do something stupid? Well, whatever. All the way to the brim. It's okay. Keep going. Okay. Wait, move, and I'll get this up for it. There we go. You want to come around this way, Brandon? It might be, might be easier. All the wicks are pulling up. We can straighten them. It's no big deal. Probably uh, melt some more wax, John. Well, what I'm going to do is empty this, and then I want to do the beeswax for those. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, this is the beeswax. So it burns slower. Much slower. Yeah. John, don't pour any yet. No, no. You put beeswax in there, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is ancient candle making. <laughs> I'd rather go to the store and just pop on five bucks and get a little <laughs> box of candles. It's a lot easier. <laughs> it is a lot easier. <laughs> well, these start ones the next here one. Should be... Yeah, they're they're hard enough where you can dip them again, and then just keep repeating the process. Now they won't go down as far. No, you don't want to do them too far because once they hit the bottom, that's it. That's it. Yep. You just go down until it hit the bottom. Yep, pull them up. that's it. And then you, uh, then we, then we cut them to to length. So in other words, you only get like whatever. Or dunk size them maybe can what? Is. Yeah. Dunk them like two or three times and then pull them up. You know, if you take a picture on this side, you you're drinking Yingling, and we're going to be dipping into an Appleton Estate Jamaican rum container. <laughs> Here we are. How many dips later? <laughs> I don't know. Last track. They're looking pretty good, though. So. It goes in by an end of time. It goes in seven. Wax? Yeah. And then it turns. Moved all the excess. <laughs> all right, Chloe. Wax from the mold. Chloe, hold on. And we're just pulling up the candle out of the mold. <laughs> yeah, the finished there product. There you go. Perfect. Perfect for our experiments. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, thirty-four. Thirty-four candles we'll have here. Okay. Did you say that? I think it's got more handling. Yeah, I think you saw it. Open the door up in the van, I just feel the heat pouring out of it. Yeah. This is our answer to an EMP. So our beeswax candles right here. And a 
regular wax, paraffin wax. And this is the uh, colored wax. And these were from the, uh, the form that we had. Okay. 